everyone welcome to bar fitness podcast i'm your host Dwayne, and this podcast was created to uh, document my fitness journey and that fitness journey includes the program e2m and so with the program being e2m i've interviewed a lot of e2m folks and today i am super privileged to have on one of the trainers uh, she actually was on when this was the sidebar and since been rebranded and renamed. And and I remember your video had a Christmas tree in the back. So <laughs> yeah. you got a brand brand new uh brand new opportunity to bring on uh Coach Mandy. How you doing this afternoon? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing well, doing well. So uh since I have uh kind of unofficially become a partner of E2M and, and love working with you guys, I reached out to all the coaches because you guys. Uh, not only do you train us and you, you're coaching us and you're pushing us and you're motivating us, you're also giving us like really inspirational words and and things that we can kind of apply. And so I wanted to get you guys back on and just kind of give this to the public and for E2M folks that are uh, that are listening. And um, one of the things you said, I think it did you start last round, you said, uh, don't do all or nothing, do all or something. Talk. Let, let's jump right in that. Talk about that and where that came from. Yeah. So, you know, it's so funny. I, I, you know, Corey, my boyfriend and I talk about, uh, each of them and fitness in general and living a healthy lifestyle a lot. And so that helps to get my juices really flowing. So, um, we had been talking about it one day and I was like, I just I, like, I, I hate that people think they got to go hard all the time. It's got to be everything or nothing. And I see people have, you know, one bad day or one bad week and then totally go off the rails, you know, and mm -hmm. give up. And so, uh, it was kind of like dinged in my brain during a workout. And I was like, it doesn't have to be all or nothing. It can be all or something. And then by that, I mean, just do something like whatever mm -hmm. your best is that day, just give it your best and, and move yeah. on knowing that that was your best and you did great. So, um, yeah, it's funny. Cause we talk about a lot of things that get my juices flowing and then I'll be in the middle of the workout and I'll be like, it's just all or something today. This is our <laughs> <You know? laughs> But right. yeah, that's been a great one. I'm glad y'all love that. I feel like it's helped a lot of people really keep pushing forward. Yeah, it does, man. Because, you know, that it's almost like a natural reaction with, you know, okay, I messed up. Oh, it's all over. You know, I'm throwing the towel, you know? So just to, to hear, hear you say that and to hear, you know, just it, it don't have to be that. You know, so what has been some of the response? I mean, you said people liked it and, and um, I know you like to go back and read comments and stuff. What, what have you noticed with that hashtag and, and just that whole uh, mantra? It's a really cool one to click on that hashtag and read through what people are posting, because even from the first time I said it, which was in the last round, and then I did bring it back after that, people carried it through and they're still using it regularly. And it's helping them to know that, like, I mean, it's just plainly what it is, you know, like it doesn't like you wouldn't mess up on a project at work or not give your best at work and quit your job. You wouldn't stop going in. So like you should treat your fitness journey the same. I mean, I always say make your workout an appointment with yourself and bosses don't cancel. That's right. So, you know, it's it, just do something. You know, we have uh, people that post all the time and they're like, you know, that circuit, I struggled through it. I got three rounds and then I finished with cardio or whatever it might be. And they're like, but that was my all or something today. Mm -hmm. I didn't mm -hmm. quit. And so that's the really, sh the strength in it is I didn't quit. They didn't quit. For sure. So, E2M is eager to motivate, baby. I'm here to motivate you <laughs> however I can. And so <laughs> every once in a while, uh, something pops up into my brain and it sticks and it really does help to, to drive people and motivate them forward. So. Yeah, no. And that I, and again, like I said, it, it's something that, that, you know, we noticed, um, Nassim is, is live, uh, in, in the chat saying she loves the all or something. Uh, Nassim is, uh, one of the OGs, those that are listening in the E2M program, you know, cause a lot of times, like you mentioned, you know, uh, people will post about the circuits being hard or not being able to do all the push ups or not being able to do, you know, or, mm -hmm. or like somebody just mentioned having an injury. 
you know, yeah. and, and, and not being able to do everything that we, that we have, uh, and the all or something comes into play. Um, when, when someone, let's say is, cause you know, everybody that's watching or listening, it might not be E2M. Um, cause I think this applies to things even outside of fitness. What do you think about that? Oh, I definitely do. You know, like it, it like I said, your job, like just you just got to do the best you can in everything you do and it's every single day you're not going to be at the same level you might have got less sleep last night and so you're tired and you made less sales calls or whatever it is but whatever it is you give it your best you know if you I don't know with your kids like we I I don't go I I mean most days I am proud of the way that I parent my (laughs) child but there's days that I'm, I'm less proud of how I parent her because I'm tired or whatever it is. But like, I do try to end the day on a great note, read stories, snuggle at bedtime, tell her how much I love her, you know, all that good stuff. And so like, that was not, you don't just quit on parenting. You don't just say, all right, done with it. (laughs) You know, you just give your all. And, and some days it's not the best, you know, it's not as good as it was yesterday, but that's yep. all right. Yeah, no, I love the parenting thing because, like you said, we we. I remember when my parents turned forty, you know. So when I when I turned forty, I'm like, dang, they didn't they didn't have it all together like I thought they did because I know right? I don't, you know. <laughs> and so you know, it's funny because you 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 make mistakes and you you deal with your kids, but uh, like you said, you just don't throw in the towels like, oh well, you're done. You know, I'm not going to mm-hmm. hug you tonight or whatever. You still can do something like it, it still can apply. I love that so much. Um, as far as, uh, just, just kind of building on that, the, the all or something, um, you know, what, what about the person that maybe try to turn that in a negative way? Like, how can we, can we, you know, motivate them not to, to, to make that something, something pitiful, but actually some effort, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah, it's always a balance, you know, because sure. I, I tend to be a tough love person because mm. I'm kind of a machine, you know, mm-hmm. like, I get my workout done. I'd eat anything that was healthy for me. I'd eat this water bottle if it was good for me, you know, but like everybody's not like that. And so I was actually talking right. to somebody today, just today about this. I got to remember that everybody's not like that. And so it's a delicate dance between yeah. giving somebody too much tough love. You really have to um, master the art of coaching a lot of people mm-hmm. in the way that they need to get coached. Mm. And that's a really hard thing to do. Um, we do get, you know, even though we have tons of, you know, hundred thousand people in our group, we still do get a lot of one-on-one. And so I feel lucky that I can do that and talk with people in the inbox and then comment on their posts and kind of give them the love that they need. Mm -hmm, And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, like if I pick up on somebody in the inbox, that's kind of giving me a sob story. I'm like, okay, are you done? Cause let's go it's time to pull up your big girl panties and let's go. But you got to know who to say that to. But to answer your question, (laughs) ultimately you're accountable to yourself. You're not accountable to me. I want you to be great, but, but you got to want it for yourself more than I want it for you. Yeah. Um, So, you know, if you're all or something, you got to be honest with yourself, you know, that's real. Yeah. You got to, It's, it's super important. Uh, that you do that and uh and and give it you know give it your best and that's that's something that um you know we're we're similar in that whole you know uh machine kind of thing like you know this is what I need to do okay I'm gonna do it you know yeah. I even mentioned that to Jeff you know he was like you know sorry so many instructions I was like bro what tell me what yeah, you need me to me. do like that's yep. what you know like I don't care like I, I'm here I'm here to do it you know so I I like I'm like that as well and like you said not everybody's like that. And I, and I learned that with, you know, just even helping people, uh, in that. So super cool, super cool. Let me check the, the, uh, the comments real fast. Do, 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 do. Okay. I got All my right. mini coach here, by the way. If you oh yeah. That. Oh yeah. It, it's, it's not alive <laughs> without Kiki. It's not alive. <laughs> she, she has to, I, and you know, it's funny. I noticed she's been waking up early lately. <laughs> It has been, but you know what? You know what is great about that too is that she'll pop on, you know, come yeah. into my workout. For those of you that are not on E2M, yeah. my daughter's usually sleeping yeah. while I'm working out, but she'll come up and she'll come down into my workout space and just kind of hang out. But the cool thing is, 
Like I get so worried that people are going to see it as a distraction. They're going to get frustrated or whatever. Let me tell you something about how awesome our group is. They're like, I love that you're, you're keeping it real. You're yes. showing us that this is, this is life. I mean, and, yes. and that's the truth, man. There's always going to be a distraction. This goes for kids. This goes for your job. This goes yep. for your meal prepping and everything. Yep. Um, there's always going to be a distraction. Yep. I, I don't call her a distraction, but I just mean, there's always gonna be something that could sure. tear you away from your focus, mm -hmm. but, um, that's real life, you know, yeah. that's the challenges we got to know how to work through. Yeah. Yeah. I, you can, you can always see it, uh, in the comments and in the posts, you love when Kiki makes an appearance. Cause like I said, this it's real life. And, and a lot of, a lot of people are dealing with that, you know, when they're working out and trying to balance that with kids, you know, um, yep. you know, me, me and you spoke probably a couple of weeks ago about when, uh, keeping it real gets a little too real. I won't go there. <laughs> but, but that was, that was that was definitely interesting but uh I, I had to throw that out there uh because you're cause, hilarious because we got we got we got some real real trainers they real, yeah. real, real. <laughs> I want a blanket I'm cold you want a blanket you're cold it's, it is cold today. Oh, let me get... <laughs> Sorry. Yo, it's all good no real life baby <laughs> real life real life Look, um, I recorded an episode this morning. I promise I was sleep driving to the gym and rambling on the podcast. Like people was like, you kept yawning. And yeah, it was, it was a struggle, but it was real life. It was like somebody riding with me to the gym. So with yep. Kiki, we are all about it, baby. You talk all you want to. <laughs> He's the mini coach. That's Next right. generation. That's right. That's right. <laughs> E2M 2.0. I love it. Yeah. Good stuff. So, Mandy, before we slide out, um, just anything you want to leave with those that may be listening, those that may be watching live, any anything you want to say to those folks, um, you know, when it comes to the fitness journey, uh, just when it comes to balancing life and kids and family and all of that, any, any words of encouragement you want to leave? Well, I can't say I have it perfected, but, mm -hmm. you know, we all learn as we go and, and don't expect yourself to be perfect ever, mm -hmm. but especially not as you start your journey. I mean, it's it's practice makes progress not practice makes perfect because Thanks. i'm certainly far from it you guys see me on my lives and i do keep it real because i've never seen a group of people that love to see me mess up so much. <laughs> <laughs> not in a bad way but now you are just yeah. like wow oh, you're a real person yep. and i am i mean i'm going through the same struggles that you guys do a lot of days but I'm gonna say your other favorite quote and your hustles just got to be stronger than your struggle, man. That's right. Honey, that's right. Your hustle just has to be stronger than your struggles. And, and, you know, you got to pick, pick your heart. It's hard to be out of shape. It's hard to be on medication because side effects and all that stuff, but it's hard to work out and be disciplined too. So you just got to choose your heart and hustle the best you can every single day. And I mean, practice makes progress, not perfection. Nobody's perfect. So like give That's yourself right. a little bit of grace, but, but enough tough love to push yourself forward and you're going to be great. You know? Exactly. Exactly. I love it. Good stuff. Well, Mandy, thank you again for uh, coming back on the show. Uh, yes, like I said, we, we're going to, we're going to cycle you guys in uh, as often as we can. Cause I really do appreciate uh, everything you guys do with the program. Like I said, not only with the physical side and working us out, but you always uh, have positive messages that we can also apply as well. So big shout out to you for that. And uh, to the uh, Bar Fitness folks, thank you guys for tuning into the Bar Fitness. Uh, those that are watching live or watching it on YouTube, I do have a podcast called Bar Fitness Podcast. It is Monday through Friday. Um, it is traveling with me to the gym Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and it's interviews on Tuesday and Thursday. And then also the YouTube channel Bar Fitness TV. Till next time, you guys, God bless. And remember, 1 Timothy 4, 8, the physical body is good. Paul said, take care of your physical body, but you also have to take care of your spiritual body as well. Till next time. It's just different.